Hey folks, your buddy Noodler coming at you once again from deep in the bowels of our blues guitarist Secret HQ. Um, I'm coming at you today with uh, my latest acquisition, this fantabulously opulent uh, Epiphone SG Special that I acquired just the other day. My landlord was cleaning out his storage room and I saw the neck of this thing sticking out of a pile of crap and I ended up talking them out of it. Cleaned her all up. It was caked in grunge and crap and everything and a couple of rusty strings on there. I got her all fixed up. You know, bolt on neck, uh, made in China. But, uh... <clears throat> Anyhow, enough about me and my my uh, dumb luck in acquiring yet another uh, quality instrument, gratis. Um, I was going to come at you with with a little bit of uh, riffage today to check some stuff out. I'm going to show you a little sort of a a riffy comping thing that you can use either for soloing or, or playing rhythm and that's and that is sort of it kind of sounds like this right neck and then so I'll tell you just briefly what I'm doing here I'm in the key of E and uh, I'm playing the E note on the uh, second fret D string here and then I play the open E high so I, and then I bounce G string first fret which is the major third so and then I hit the I high E again so so far we got now open uh, B string, so open E, and then play the B string second, open E, third fret open E, and I'm going backwards, so. That's how it ends. So, so anyhow, I'll run over it one more time so you you get what I'm saying because I was a bit uh, confused. So, the E note on the D string second fret, followed by the uh, open E, and then you hammer on from an open G to the first fret of the G string, which is the major third of E. So, and you play the open E open E again. Now you play the open B string, open E, and you play B string 2nd fret, open E, B string 3rd fret, open E, B string 2nd fret, open E, and then bounce on the, bounce on the G string 1st fret and play the open E again, and now you've got the whole lick. You just gotta bar it. Right? And then so on. And you mix that up with some of these uh, sliding six. So, right? So you can get some different. Right? That's the sliding six idea, right? I'm just I'm in the fourth fret on both the uh, G and high, e, and then I go down in the second fret, and then the final part of that is the major third on the G string first fret, right? Um, so in A, right, right. You see where I'm going with that. Not some movable stuff. I hope that was coherent enough for you guys to get something out of it. And uh, I'm 
me see. What other uh, tidbit do I have for you? Oh, here's something that you might not be aware of that's kind of cool, and you can slip it into your riffage a little bit. Is you're playing the root note of whatever chord on the uh, on the G string. So in the ca in this case, it would be E. Seventh fret, playing the E bar chord off the A root note. And this is going to be the same everywhere. If I was playing the C, it would be the same thing. So you play the root there on the G string, right? You can get that boogie climb. So play the root note. Um, in this case, it's G string seventh fret. Uh, the major third happens to be B string seventh fret because it's the B string, so everything gets moved up a fret. Anywhere else it would be, but here it's. And then the fifth of E is the B, which is of course the B string at the 12th fret. So, right. And then you play uh, the high E on the uh, ninth fret. 10th fret, climb back down. Right? Work it into your riffage, it's a good thing to know. And uh, it's something you've probably played off of the other root notes, but try if any licks you're playing are based off a root note you should try moving them around because they're always going to be the same and the only rule that you got to remember is that everything gets shifted up one fret towards the bridge on the G, on the B string because it doesn't have the same interval between it as the rest of the strings do I, I know this thing's a little out of tune but who cares it's close enough for rock and roll right <laughs> Here's a groovy little sort of uh, lick, and I'm, I'm I'm in the key of C, so I start playing by playing the root note on the uh, 13th fret, and then I I play the 10th fret on the high E, and go back to that so. And then back to the to the uh, tenth fret, right? So root tenth root tenth eleventh root, and then from eleventh to twelfth to root. So you come out of that any old way you want. That's a pretty cool little lick. I'm playing, I'm in C still. I'm playing the root here on the 10th fret on the D, D string. So you play the root. This is another sort of a pivoting lick. Play the root. Play the uh, flat three here. Um, 8th fret uh, G string, back to the root, and then play the flat 5th uh, G string, 11th fret, right, root, flat 3, root, flat 5, root 4, which is the next note, back to there. with my new black SG special. Um, there's a great, you know, thing with the with the uh, flat five and when you're in E. Right. Right, if you want to get that, doing that old sort of voodoo child style, jamming to yourself in E thing. Um, um, I'm, I'm playing the G 
string, uh, low E, and then I'm bang, bouncing off the flat five there, A string first fret, going back there, and then I bounce onto the E note on the uh, D string second fret, you get that, which is a pretty swampy, nice sounding lick that uh, you know you might dig. Um, let me see, what else do I got up my sleeve today? You're playing an E. I'm going to show you one more lick and then I got to go because I got things to do today. But uh, as usual, I have limited time. I'm an important man. What can I tell you folks? So, so I'm in E and I'm playing the pentatonic minor scale here. With the root on the A string at the 7th uh, fret. And I'm bending this this uh, flat three, what we like to call the fuck you lick, because of the way the scale is shaped. It comes right there in between these two notes. Anyway, what I'm doing is I'm just bending it up a half a step to the major three, and I'm holding down this B note on the high E. And you get that groovy bluesy sound, but there's more that you can do to that. You can. So while I'm doing this, I'm, I'm hitting the ninth fret on the high E, and then the tenth fret with my pinky, which you may recognize from when I showed you this, right? Right. Because those are those two two notes. Anyway, back to this. So, and you can mix it up ever, however you want to do it, but the whole point is it gives you, it gives that lick some, uh, some momentum and adds some interest. Right? <clears throat> so there you go. That's a pretty cool thing, and this little move is is everywhere, and it's something you know you should get used to doing, which is just bouncing onto that major third and playing the root wherever your root is. So. There's a pretty cool lick. I'm, I'm in E, key of E, and I'm at the 12th fret, playing what I guess they call the first position pentatonic box, and I'm bending the G string here uh, from uh, 12th fret to the 14th with my index finger, so flat three uh, to to the four, right? Right. And then, so I bend it up a full step with my index finger, and then I play the flat seven B string fifteenth uh, fret with my pinky, and then I go up here to the fourteenth fret with my index again, and I'm just bending it up. I think basically a half a step to the flat five, uh, and playing the the root here on the 17th fret of the B string with my pinky, so it's almost the same lick. So you could bend this, you don't necessarily have to go to the 4, you can bend to just the flat 3. In fact, that's what you gotta do. Right? And then you can... whatever. This thing's pretty good for, I mean, these things go for like 150 bucks, I think, brand new, but for gratis, what the fuck, right? Um, I don't know, folks. I mean, that's really probably all I got for you today. I got to make tracks. It's a, it's now that it's nice out, uh, I got chores to do. That's the way life is, right? And I might want to tune this guitar while I'm at it before I inflict it on you people again. All right, well, I hope you got something out of that, and we'll talk to you soon.